it is only natural that no human being can live without water. Water is so important that even the constitution of Zimbabwe makes it an obligation for the government to provide clean, safe and potable water to all the citizens. But, unfortunately, this has not been happening lately. Zimbabweans have had to endure fetching water from unsafe sources. In urban areas like Harare, the situation is a lot worse. Women and children in many parts of the city no longer have access to running water. And where there's running water, it is not safe for drinking. So, in this first part of our focus on the levels of access to water and sanitation in Harare and beyond, we go to Kambuzuma. This is in line with ZimTV's aim to take the constitution of Zimbabwe to the people of Zimbabwe. Vura at Zumbo Yuan, especially the Kanzu. I told Boshiki, my boy at Ragaz Rirobo, Romukira. Oh, a good name which kiss a badge at Trombuchki, was the watch at Dagu Mashes. We spoke to the mayor of Harare, Jacob Mafume. Zimfos or Chemplex, which is supposed to provide us with a key ingredient for our chemicals, which is aluminium sulfate, cannot cope with the demand. We have decided to change the chemical regime. We are going to put chlorine dioxide generators, but we have paid the money but we are still to get that deposit from the reserve bank. Only the last dam for Harare was built in 1976 and the population at that point in time was 500,000. 